Hey guys, Rex here. Have you ever been told, like, to stop acting so white and you're white? You ever hear that one? It's actually a common thing now. It's actually in the program for a lot of big businesses for their employees. You got to take this training. You got to answer the right questions on the computer module about how, you know, you, you shouldn't act white. I learned about it when I went to college. Um, I was going to do some of the education classes in conjunction with the science stuff I was learning, right? And after about half a semester of that, I said, yeah, hell with that deal. So I just added more science to it and said, I'm gonna stay in reality land because these people are freaking communist and that's great. They can do whatever they want, but I'm not gonna play that game. So here's the deal. Like, I'm not supposed to act white now. Excuse me, but like someone explain this to me because I'm like a hundred percent, not a hundred percent exactly, but mostly pretty much white. I got a little bit of engine in me, you know, from back in the day. Yeah, I said it. What, like, how am I supposed to not act white? Like that bird just flew by, oh, you know, you're flying, you know, you're flapping your wings there. I like, you're acting too much like a bird. And I decided based on my freaking college degree that I don't like birds flapping so much and therefore you have to stop acting like what you freaking are. Go up to a squirrel be like, hey, squirrel, you're acting too much like a squirrel. You need to act more like a fish. Try breathing underwater. Now we got to be more culturally well-rounded here. Squirrels have been dominating the trees for too long. You need to share that tree with a fish. Go get a catfish, put him in a nest. Oh, there we go. Now it's equal. What the shit? People are smoking way too much crack, man. Like, hello, a fish has fins. It likes water for a reason because it's made for the water. That's what fish do. A squirrel goes in the tree. You freaking submerge a squirrel like on Monty Python or what was that where they have a they have a dog or something and they need to make it into a fish so they're just gonna cut its arms off and attach fins. Like that's retarded. That's literally what these people are trying to do with humans. Like, oh, I know you're a white, but like, you better not act white. I thought you people are about like multiple different kinds of diversity, different races all happy together and shit. Like what the hell? What do you want me to act Chinese? Okay. I mean, if I do it, I'll get kicked off the YouTube with a oh, ting ching powder or whatever the hell. I don't even know. I do not know how to not act white. And you sure as hell do not want me to try to pretend to be something different. What a racist. He was acting like a black guy. He's culturally appropriating that thing. Like, I don't know how to rap. You want me to try to pretend how to rap? I can I can accommodate you. North Dakota rap, you ready? I am in North Dakota and I'm here to say I'm the most evil farmer in the USA. Like, foo, 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 homie, homie, homie. Foo, 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 milk a cow, milk a cow. Like, I don't know what the hell I'm like. Oh, he's making fun of other cultures. Well, you're the one that told me I'm not allowed to act like the thing I am. They're really saying that they just want you to curl up and die, probably. That's really what's going on. And as entertaining as I'm trying to make it, because the best medicine for this kind of crazy shit is humor. Number one, it exposes how retarded it is. Number two, it will help you remember it better. Number three, it makes you happy. Why not be happy in the face of total, I mean, like on in the onslaught when they're coming at you, what's more powerful than laughing at them and pointing? I mean, most of it is like a demonic, vampiric, like psychological attack. And they're trying to get you all worked up just like grade school kids, like, you're stinky and your mom's stupid. <laughs> and then you're gonna cry and like go jump off the fire escape and like, that's what they're hoping you do. Get all bent out of shape. Don't participate in that part. Like, I hope this sinks in, but you don't have to do what they told you, right? Like you can still act white and not give a shit or whatever you are, or whatever you want to be. If you're white and you want to be black, like, uh, I don't know, go ahead, man, like, or vice versa. I don't, like, I don't care. 
as long as you're not being a criminal. Like, if I mean, there's like criminals from every race, right? I mean, just don't be an asshole, and I'm fine. And if you are one, um, I suppose that's your right, but I don't have to, re like, enjoy that or tolerate it or respect it in my little circle, right? So the, the moral of the story is, I hope you guys recognize this is a trick. When they're telling you you're not allowed to act white, they're poking you. Me. And, like, when no one's looking or, like, under the radar, like, poking you under the table trying to get you to start swinging because when you start swinging they're going to call the cops and the cops are going to come in and they're going to be like oh, yeah, he started hitting me just out of the blue for no reason oh you're going to jail mister it's called unconventional warfare man the essence of unconventional warfare is tweaking your enemy just enough to get them to totally overreact and then you got them then you can gang up on them with all the powers of heaven and they'll all come down on you like a nuclear bomb because, hey, you just started hitting that kid. Uh, and then, like, they can deny it. They, they were so subtle. Or it was such a small thing. It's calculated and titrated in just the right way to really get at your ego or your pride or some kind of loose tile you got somewhere in how you're constructed. And then when they can get a pry bar under that, they just kind of tweak it and they add solvent and they it's very, very patiently titrated just to get you to wear you out. And then if you're dumb enough unfortunately you'll fall for it and you will overreact. Now they've been doing this in all categories. It's like for the last year all the stupid crap has been that. Or like when these politicians, when they like put the news on there, like oh they said something so radical like this uh, professor lady that was like, oh, I just envision shooting white people or whatever all day. This white lady teacher envisions like shooting everybody, executing them. And they put that on the news. Why would they put that on the news? That's not news. Oh, wow, I'm so shocked. A teacher is crazy. That's freaking normal. They're communists. Of course they're crazy. I mean, not all of them, but 98% of them. Or like, oh, a college professor was acting like an insane person. That's not news. That's 100% normal. It's like, hey, look, that cow pooped in the field. Oh, my God, it's news. It was gross. Yeah, no kidding. That's what they do on the field. College professors say retarded things in stupid college classes. Congratulations. Not like anything new. Why they put it on the news? Because they know it's going to upset you. And when they know it's going to upset you, they're just hoping one of you snaps. And if one of you snaps, guess what's going to really be on the news now? Look at them. We have to take all their weapons. They're crazy. We can't trust them with anything. This is how these people are. They just attack innocent teachers for no reason. Innocent college professors. It's horrible. What are we going to do? It's a terrible situation. It's a trick, man. It's like thousands of years old or more. You know what I mean? Like, don't fall for that one. I hope this helps a little bit. And I hope it was slightly entertaining. But I seriously don't get this whole deal like I'm not allowed to act white. I mean, what the hell? I think it's funny. So maybe one of the good solutions is to you hear something stupid like that, laugh, make fun of it. Don't be scared to make fun of it. Point at it and laugh. And then do the opposite anyways. Yeah, okay. I'm going to act extra white. Well, give me your list of things I'm not supposed to do. And then just do them anyways. Oh, they might kick you out of college. Good. That's probably a good thing, man. The hell would you want to be in there for? I mean, unless you're going to learn an actual thing, like a trade or a skill or engineering or something. Okay, that makes sense. But, like, well, that's another funny point, too, right? Oh, what's the matter with these kids nowadays? You know, just burning everything down, acting like a bunch of communists. Well, how could this happen? Come on, man. Come on, man. Um, like you tell me you don't like the kids being communist, but like you put them through communist school for 12 years by choice. And then like you watch communist sports, which is part of the communist manifesto to get people. And I, I played sports and watched sports, but I'm talking like that's replacing your relationships. And then like, what, what are you, what do you expect is going to happen? You put them through communist school. 
you, you focus on all the things that are the communist planks for, of revolution. And then you get the best tube and you pay $62 a month to get the bigger pipe of communist shit that comes out of the communist factory and pump it straight into your face every morning while you're eating breakfast and every day while you're eating supper. It's called a television set that shoots communism out of it, vomits it out like horrible, despicable slop flying out of a pipe. And you pay for it. And there's a nozzle and it turns off every month unless you give them another $62. And you've been giving them the $62 for like 25 years. And you're telling me you don't like it? Come on, let's be honest. <laughs> it's so funny. Don't worry. It'll all be straightened out. It'll all be straightened out. Do your part not to be crazy. Do your part to do the right thing. Don't get bent out of shape about it. It'll be straightened out.